Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we took the Great Bridge between the Alliance and the Empire's borders. This time, we're going to be doing some instructions and more preparation. It's hard to believe you're still alive to do. I'm glad to see it, though. Hey! said, Annette, you're great at spellcasting, but you need to learn some faith-based magic to help keep people alive. Recover. All that work... Yes! <laughs> yes! You want to be a Grimmery, so you definitely have the white magic for that, but I want to get your reason up, just so you can help protect yourself it. a little better. No need to die. I would like to All thanks. Budding talent. Learn the ability seal magic. I still wow. Have talent, I see. Okay, cool. To do. You need to get your lance skills up, cause I appreciate. It's good for a heavy armor knight like deepened. yourself to actually also wield a I lance with great skill as well as an axe. Ash or Felix? Well, Ash is closer to that wonderful S plus. <laughs> Lance? Okay, sure. This will you have that budding talent thing. Let's work on that then. Group tasks. Clearing rubble. Sylvain. And to do. Begin. Let me ask you something. All this savagery day after day is depressing. Do you have any ideas for fun things I could do to feel better? There's always a cup of tea. Huh. Is that right? I guess a girl would be more your style, but that's not what you need to worry about right now. Let's be quick about this. Right. We will make... It went well. I'll say... I'm really getting it. I think. Seminar... Good old magic lessons. Uh, 
It's all instinct now. Automatically. Don't think anything, well, nothing interesting happened, so let's just skip to the point. Here is the result. Do another seminar. It's weird that she teaches axe skills, that's all I'm saying. More magic lessons. There we go, skill up. I'm getting the hang of this. Again, just automatically. Good on you, Flame. And on the day before the mission, the, or the, the free day before the mission is when I'm going to explore, because there's a magic tournament going on. How do you like... It's all instinct now. There's a magic tournament. And Mercedes and Annette will be my best bets. However, they're a little low for this. However, Annette would be my best bet. I'm counting on you, Annie. Yeah! Oh, close one. I don't think this is going to work out like I wanted it to. Nope. You get an F for the rest of the year. Some support conversations between Dudu and Felix. I can finally see this. Hey, wait. What is it? You defended me in battle. Why? His Highness does not wish for our military strength to be depleted. The loss of your strength would be significant. You are a colossal idiot. One slip-up and you would have died. You think you would have been happy about that? No, I do not. Then why protect me? I thought you were his mindless weapon, his sword and shield. I heard about your brother. He was a Dusker. He died to protect his highness. He did, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Are you repaying some kind of debt? I Kinda. hope you're not going to praise his death. I hear enough of that from my old man. I will not praise it then. Instead, I will say I would have done the same in his position. Is it really so unnatural to put one's life on the line to protect a brother in arms? To hear a rabid dog call me a brother in arms. Your insults are merely an attempt to avoid addressing me as what I am. I am a man of Dusker, yet you were concerned for my life. Concerned is a strong word. Your death would have been unpleasant, that's all. You're not fooling anyone, Felix. Beneath all that angst is an actual decent person. Coming from you, 
That is enough. What's that supposed to mean? I just meant... <sighs> Never mind. Okay, go ahead, protect me. But if you act like a fool and get yourself killed, I'll kill you. How can you kill me, if I am already dead? <laughs> I... You, you know what I meant. <laughs> I like that. Dudu and Sylvain. Oh, this is delicious. I can't believe I made it. Yes, you do have some talent. As I've said many times before, I enjoy cooking. What's the matter? Have I got something on my face? No, Sylvain. Recently I've heard rumors about you. Oh yeah? Which ones? Is it that I'm terrible to girls? Or the rumor where I bring terrible misfortune to the girls I date? I don't, by the way, in case you're about to ask. Oh, I also heard about how I'm total trash and everyone should avoid me. That might be my favorite. <laughs> I like Sylvain. Well, you don't lack for self-awareness. The way I figure it, if I can't be respected, I can at least be well informed. You are being described as indefensibly worthless. Indefensibly? <laughs> That's a bit harsh. I already knew your reputation concerning women, but these new rumors deprive you of all redemption. I did try to correct them, but I doubt I was believed. Well, thank you all. I had a sushi plate last night. Listen, you don't need to worry what people think about it. It's just on the way home from well the city, know, and by city, I mean a town that has more than just Walmart to grocery shop and at. I don't live in a very big town. So badly, it seems Tyler, I guess you could call are inevitable. Tyler a city. I could not be silent. Big town. I live about you an hour person, away from it. Rather than merely as someone from Dusker. Yeah, I want grocery you to be shopping seen as there, a got what I needed too. for work. I appreciate that to do. You think the world will ever see There's us that way? There's a store there called Fresh, Maybe. and on the way home, I stopped in there and got me a maki plate. I can't tell if you're joking or not. But I, I wanted like the it. lava, lo the lava lobster roll, but they were out. So a maki plate. And it was tuna and salmon rolls, and it was actually quite good. Needed a bit of spice, though, and needed a sauce. And I had some chili I had some chili sauce in there, and it was quite good with it. What am I talking about? Flane and Manuela? Hello, Professor Manuela. I wish you to know that I have heard ever so much about your talents. You are a treasure, Flane. <laughs> Whatever are you talking about, Flane? And you are a thought. Singing? Why, you are... You are wonderfully skilled at it, are you not? Why, I have even overheard people saying your voice is akin to the singing of a goddess. It makes me happy to hear. But who told you that? Oh, the students are always speaking of it. Which got me to thinking, I may be the only person in all of the Academy who's never heard your beautiful voice in song. So, I was wondering, Manuela, might you sing a little something for me? Your request is touching, but I can't perform on such short notice. My voice is an instrument and requires proper gentle care. However, the stories are true. I was once the leader of the Middle Franc troupe, but that was a long time ago. How old are you? Middle Franc? Um, what do those words mean precisely? You've never heard of the Middle Franc troupe? Before the war, it was the single most popular opera company in the Imperial capital. I used to sing on stage with them. I was the star, in fact. Oh, wow! In all of Enbar? They must not have been around when I was living there. You used to live in Enbar? Indeed. Although, I was quite a bit younger at the time. It is where I was born, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, you must have been too young to hear about us. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> that could be. And what precisely is the function of an opera troupe? You don't know what an opera troupe is? She's just a little well, sheltered. It's a group of performers, like myself, who act out stories on stage in front of a big audience. An op Stories yeah, that's actually what an opera is. It's kind of like a stage play. Oh, I, I understand now. I 
certainly have experience in the fine art of storytelling. There is often singing as a part of story time for the children at the monastery. That is darling, Flame. But I'm not sure it's quite the same thing as an opera. You see, operas are performed in grand theaters with orchestral accompaniment. Everyone attending wears their finest. It is a very special occasion. Theaters, they're called? You mean to say that there are buildings exclusively used for telling stories? You are a treasure, Flame. Has anyone ever told you that? You are just this pure, innocent treasure who must be protected. You've never even heard of a theater? <laughs> She's You're an intelligent girl, Flame. And the world is full of Oh, wonders. I love Flame. You have a lot left to discover. I really like Flynn. She is just a treasure. Gilbert and Manuela. Oh boy. Is that singing? The blue sea glimmers in the dark. The red canyon calls. Boo! Goddess reach in dreams to her throne she falls Boo. well Gilbert what do you think Blah. you were not meant to notice me nobody could miss a good man like you my apologies for interrupting please excuse me no, Gilbert, hold on a moment. You're not disturbing me, truly. I want very much to know what you thought of my singing. The least you can do is tell me. You were lovely. You sounded lovely. Lovely? Is that what you really feel? Please, be honest. Why would you suppose I was dishonest? That is not the look of someone who just heard what they deemed to be lovely. It hurts my confidence when my voice can't even lure a fleeting smile to your face. It's as though my singing voice has died since stepping off the middle front stage. My Lady Manuela, that could be no further from the truth. If that's the case, then Gilbert, I challenge you to a duel! My singing versus your iron mask. I will break through, and I will see passion in your eyes. Why did she leave so suddenly? And what could she have meant by a duel? Something is surely troubling her. <laughs> and oblivious. Sylvain and do 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 Manuela. Oh boy, she's getting around today, isn't she? Oh, my head. Where? Why am I here instead of the infirmary? When did I? Oh boy. How are you feeling, Professor Manuela? Sylvain, what do you need at this hour? You don't remember? Well, you collapse in the infirmary and. That doesn't sound like me. Wait, no, I remember. How much did you have to drink? I told you in moderation, Manuela. The truth is, something sad happened. So I did what I always do to forget my troubles. Got anyway, shit-faced drunk? I found you passed out on the floor, helped you up, then carried you back here. And what were you doing in the infirmary late at night? Not bringing a girl there, I hope. No, n nope, I was definitely alone. I just, you know, I just had a bad feeling and I decided to look around to see if anyone needed my help. Oh, my poor head. Are yeah, right? she's hungover. Here, have some water. What a thoughtful young man you are. You're a real gentleman compared to that jerk who just... That good-for-nothing guy who strung you along whispered sweet nothings in your ear, then shattered your heart beyond repair? I agree. He's a jerk. It was you, wasn't it? Oh no. Did I say those things to you? Actually, your version had more details. Very detailed details. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you know, Professor, you're a good catch. It's a shame that you've had no luck with men. 
<laughs> you need a guy like me. Somebody who sees your beauty and appreciates how tender you are, emotionally, and how much love you have to give. Begone, man's thought. You're a smooth talker, even when you don't mean what you say. I'm going to change, so shoot, okay? Sure, sure, I can take a hint. Rest up, Manuela. Thank you, Sylvain. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Be gone, man's thought. Did he just call me Manuela and not Professor? That sly little... Although... Hmm... Me? With Sylvain? Now there's a crazy thought. And some red flags. I don't like where this is going. Manuela and Cyril. Good. I was joking when I said she gets around, okay? I was joking. I was joking. This is unbelievable. Why? Why does it keep happening to me? What's wrong with me? You're a thought. Are you okay? I was sure I'd be why happy Why does Cyril look time. like a warrior? Why, oh why, oh why do I always struggle in love? Please, let go of my sleeve. If I let go, you'll just run away, won't you? Yes. <laughs> Nobody wants to listen to my romantic tragedy. But I saw you, Cyril. I've, I've thought, heard part of this Cyril one. Cyril will listen, because Cyril is good people. <sighs> Well, they lied to you. Okay, I surrender. What do you want to say? I knew I could trust you, Cyril. You're such a good boy. Such a good young man. How can I help you? Is it just with listening? Oh, it's a real tragedy. Let me tell you that. Yesterday, I was hitting it off with a man I'd seen a few times at the pub. Oh, I really don't like where this is going. When I looked in his eyes, I thought he was the one. But then, well, we were drinking and enjoying ourselves, and all of a sudden, poof, gone. He just vanished. So you met a guy in a bar, you had a few drinks, you lived, you laughed, and he went home because he was at his fill. What's the issue? I feel like I've heard this story before. Can you believe he treated me so cruelly? He went home! Yeah, this is all real familiar. My heart is in tatters. I can't believe anyone could throw away a woman like me. There's a lot of women like you in a bars. They're called one night bluesies. Cyril, be honest. What's wrong with me? Everything. You drink too much, blame others for your behavior, and you don't understand you gotta love yourself before someone else can love you back. Yeah, pretty much everything. Maybe he wasn't for me anyway. If you're gonna take off after a few drinks, who needs you, right? So, literally the majority of people who go to a bar... I think you're too young to understand, but... I also think talking to you made me feel better. Yeah. You know what, Cyril? I'm gonna come talk to you more often. <sighs> I feel sorry for you, Cyril. I was here about making you a warrior. just behind me. There he is. As powerful as our knights are, we're outnumbered by a long shot. This won't be easy. It never it's crazy is. To attempt this. I guess I'm crazy to go along with it. Train me in the way of the sword. Thank you.
Where is Mermi where is Mercedes? The dude's up there. Okay, they're literally just all up in the Cardinal's room. There's someone on the third floor as well. I'll take a look at that in a bit. They're all in the war room, okay. A room, but for war. So, we're finally going to set foot in the Empire. I'm starting to get a little nervous. We already That's normal. I guess there's a good... Uh, advanced drills. Faith magic. Outstanding. Recover. There is still more to look. Apparently, that's so, one of his hidden talents. I guess there's a good. You like the tea? So much. Because you are just precious, Mercedes. What is Angelica? Alexa, what is Angelica? Angelica is a genus of about 60 species of tall biennial and perennial herbs in the family Apiaceae, native to temperate and subarctic regions of the northern hemisphere, reaching as far north as Iceland, Lapland, and Greenland. They grow to one to three meters tall, with large bipinnate leaves and large compound umbels of white or greenish white flowers. Okay, it's an herb! It's an herb. Professor, did you call for me? I did, because you're precious. Thank you so much. So delicious. Yes. Uh, a dinner invitation. Uh, do you like cats? Wow. Yes. Um, I'm counting on you. I baked a cake earlier today. Should I have brought some with me? Well, it would have been nice. Is that so? Ah, oh, that was... Apparently blushing was not the right thing to do. I should have just nodded. Well, that was nice. Oh, it's this girl. Uh, thank you for bringing me here. I've been given permission to take part in this next mission, too. Okay. I'll finally be able to avenge my brother. I swear, I'll take down that monster. Who are you? Yet another grand battle awaits. Many will lose their lives. Let's fight our hardest to stay alive. Yes. Even considering those we are... Uh, advanced drills. Launts. Oh, Cyril's up on the third floor, as well as Roderig. Defeat the Imperial Army. I guess we won't. It's probably the battle just. I'm getting the. Let's talk with Cyril. I guess it's easy to be right over here. Let's see. Yep. I've got to keep this place clean, and I never can tell. Advanced drills. Uh, sure, bow. Why not? <clears throat> There's quite a bit of fog settling in. We won't be able to advance our troops very far in this. We won't be able to move at all until the fog lifts. No matter which path we take, we'll have to be patient and wait it out. Gilbert? No. Gustav. I would like to take this opportunity to I guess there's going to be fog in the next chapter. It's about the tragedy of Dusker. 
There's something about it I just can't wrap my head around. I'm listening. I lost a son in Dusker that day. I exhausted every last resource I had to investigate what took place there. I was startled to find that there wasn't a single shred of evidence to suggest that Lady Patricia's carriage had been attacked. Go on. Apart from His Highness, whose injuries left him on the verge of death, everyone else present at the time was slaughtered. Of all the victims, only the corpse of Lady Patricia, His Majesty's second wife, was never found. Isn't that right? Hmm. Surely that means she was abducted. There was no evidence of an attack, suggesting they threatened her, but did not kill her. But what reason would they have to take her? Would it not have been better to kill her? Perhaps she had some value as a diplomatic pawn. Nonsense. In the many years since that day, has Lady Patricia ever been used thus? No, not as far as I know. Then perhaps she was used for some political gain within the Empire. Now that her daughter is the Emperor, what reason would she have to keep hiding her existence? It is possible she passed away after returning to the Empire. Gustav, I know this is hard for you to hear, but just consider what it would mean if Lady Patricia was involved with that incident. Silence, Rodrigue. I will not allow you to tarnish her memory like that. I do not mean to imply that she arranged His Majesty's murder or anything of the like. But Gustav, I cannot shake the feeling that the tragedy was part of a much larger conspiracy. There is more to it than we know. That much is certain. Rodrigue! Gilbert! Please hurry! To kill like this is inhuman. This is one of the knights we dispatched to the leader of the Alliance. Tell me everything you know. <coughs> Sir, a soldier on patrol came across this knight a short while ago, in a rocky area not far from here. Someone from the Alliance must have disposed of the body there. Is this how the Alliance chose to inform us that they have no intention of joining our cause? Could Claude really have done this? The Alliance Lords each have their own motives. It's difficult to say for sure who was behind this. Whatever the truth is, the other knights we dispatched are in serious danger. It's best to assume that joining with the Alliance is out of the question now. Even with Count Karen's support, this makes our situation grim. I never expected the Alliance to help us. Anyone who stands in my way will be crushed beneath my feet. It is time, dear brother. Wait. Her. Something's not right. I don't trust her. We don't even get a name for her. Surely she's not responsible. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I carry out my mission for the month and figure out what's going on. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.